This long question is a mechanics question, so we're going to start off with finding the elastic potential energy of our drawn back uh, bow and arrow, uh, which is the, uh, so elastic potential energy is the half times the force times the distance, so it's a half times our force, which is 120 newtons, times the distance that it's pulled back, 0.6 meters, and that gives us 36 joules of energy stored in this uh, drawn back bow and we're going to equate that to the kinetic energy and that will tell us the speed of the arrow when it leaves the bowstring. So we're going to rearrange our equation for kinetic energy, half mv squared to make v the subject. So that's the square root of 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the mass. So we've got 2 times 36 was our energy stored in the bow there. And mass of the arrow 20 grams, 0.02 kilograms. And number crunch in that, that gives us 36,000, sorry, my, my bad, uh, 3,600. And we need to find the square root of that, which is of course uh, 60 meters per second. Now we're told in this question that some of the stored energy doesn't go into accelerating the arrow, but it, ex it accelerates the arms of the bow uh, instead. So it's very tempting to just take this fraction that they've got here and just multiply that by the velocity. But we've got to make sure that that's, it's not their uh, velocity that's reduced by this, it's the energy that was reduced by this. So we're taking the 36 uh, joules of energy that was stored before and we're multiplying it by this factor, uh, so it's 25 joules of energy uh, left over, and that's the energy that goes into propelling the arrow forward, so we're just going to use the same equation that we used before, and the only difference is instead of 36, we're using 25, and when we put those uh, numbers in, we end up with the square root of 2,500, Square root of 2,500 is 50 meters per second. Now we're being asked how long in time it takes the arrow to reach the target that's 50 meters away. Very straightforward. We use the time is distance divided by the speed. We're told that the distance is 50 meters. We worked out what the speed was. That was 50 meters per second. So therefore the time that it takes is one second. So in this question we're being asked how far above the centre of the target they need to uh, aim to ensure that it strikes the middle. So we need to uh, take into account that the arrow will fall as it's moving through the air. Now this is a SUVAT equation, so uh, we're going to need to use the equations for constant acceleration. So easiest way to start there, SUVAT, we know that the time is one second. And we know acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared. Uh, originally, uh, so it's, when it starts falling, it falls at, uh, it's got a velocity of zero. So we can use S equals UT plus half AT squared. UT cancels out uh, because U is zero. So half AT squared. So we've got a half times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 10 times our time, which is 1 squared. So that means we have to aim 5 metres above the target. In this question we need to use the idea that the work done to slow the arrow down uh, needs to be the same amount of work uh, as the kinetic energy, so we're going to make the kinetic energy uh, equal to the work done to slow it down. And kinetic energy is a half mv squared and the work done is the force times the distance. But this is slightly more complicated than it looks because there's two components of the velocity because it's making a curved path like that. So there's going to be a horizontal and a vertical component. So there's your vertical component, which I'm going to call Vy, and there's a horizontal co component as well, which I'm going to call Vx. Um, and we need to find a resultant, which is that uh, diagonal arrow 
that I've just drawn there. So uh, to find Vy, so we're going to find uh, Vy first. Uh, we're going to just use the fact that it's the arrow is going to be falling. Uh, so we're going to be using U uh, plus AT. So U is V, uh, sorry, U is zero, and it, we're going to plus uh, AT, so acceleration due to gravity times the time that it's falling for, which is one second. So our uh, vertical component is 10 meters per second. Uh, we worked out our uh, horizontal component earlier on, which is 50 meters per second. Now we need to find the component of those two. So we need to find we need to use Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, so we do 10 squared plus 50 squared, and that will give us our resultant velocity squared, which is uh, so v squared is 2,600. I'm going to leave it just as v squared for the moment because we're going to use it in our kinetic energy uh, equation. Uh, which is half mv squared, so we're going to square it anyway. So we've got half times 0 0.02, which is the mass of the arrow, times v squared, so I just, as I say, just leave v squared as it is there. Uh, and we're looking for the force, so we need to do force times the distance. So that, uh, we've got the force times the distance there. Distance is 0 0.005 meters so five millimeters 0 0.005 meters so our force once we've done all that number crunching is 5200 newtons in this question we need to find the velocity that the target moves backwards and this is a conservation of momentum question so m1 is the mass before v1 is the velocity before m2 is the mass after and v2 is the velocity after and our mass before is of course the mass of the arrow so it's 0 0.02 our velocity is the square root of 2600, which we had in our last question. This is a, um, so when the arrow strikes the target, it sticks in the target. So this is, uh, what we've got here is the combined mass of the arrow and the target. And we're looking for our velocity of, the, uh, of them both afterwards. So we can solve for uh, V2 to give 0.02 meters per second.